Hello WordPress nerds, so in this video we are going to talk about select a variable using WPDB. WPDB method, so it retrieves one variable from the database. So um, yeah, in this video uh, I'm gonna add my code into this custom plugin and if you are new to this channel or video I would suggest you to go to my uh, current playlist of crude method so go to playlist and uh, yeah here is the playlist called wordpress crude operation so this is the part of this playlist so i have already created video for insert update and delete and now we are um, looking into the selecting uh, data from the database so yeah uh, i would suggest to go in and watch this video first so that you know what I'm doing but uh, quickly explaining so this is my local site I have created my custom plugin and I'm adding this code inside my custom plugin so this is my WordPress local repo and inside the plugin folder this is my custom plugin and inside includes folder this is the file where I am adding all this screwed operation code WPDB methods.php so um, yeah in the last video we tried to delete data from the database now we will try to select data from the database so and when we should get the data so when in the query string from the URL we get select parameter then only we will display the select variable um for just sake of showing you how to do that i am using wp head action uh, but you should um, use this based on your requirement so this is the global variable of wpdb class um, class object sorry this is the table name we have assigned into this variable so how to get uh, select a variable using wpdb so this is the method get var and uh, inside that we have to use custom select query and these are a couple of uh, optional arguments which we will talk about later first let's assign this to a variable let's assign this query to a variable and let's write a select query so i'm gonna use double quote select so this is my database for this site and uh, here i have created this custom table for that so we will be getting data from this table so select count star from this table name
so whenever we use get var first let's try to run this query into this mysql so we directly get result uh, of count which is 3 so whenever we use get var and whatever we get as a result using that particular query that result will be assigned to this variable result so if we can echo result is dollar result now if I try to pass query string so we are getting this same result in this variable so that is the use of get war or war whatever you pronounce now um, let's try to understand this dollar x and dollar y so the dollar x is a column of value to return so uh, that means uh, in which from which column it should, we should start considering our result so this is for column and this is for row so here this is column so at zero position we get id first position first name second last name and third position age similarly for the row at zero position we get six second position uh, sorry first position is seven and second position is nine so this represent from where we can start considering our query so for that first i will remove this count from the star uh, from this query and also let me remove the count from here and see what result we get so we get this result which is our actual database table now if I try to pass x as a zero which means it starts from this id and y from zero that is also it starts from this six so uh, in the first place we will get the six uh, as a result because we are passing zero and zero so in that case we will get a result as a six let's try to refresh this so as you can see our result six let's try to pass column as one that means it will start from this first name and raw will be zero so we should get the result as this name let's try to refresh this it is homey now let's try to pass raw as number two and column as number one so number one is for first name and raw number two zero one and two 
which is this so we should get ABC over here so as you can see this is uh, so these are the usage of this uh, optional argument in the get var method and uh, yeah this is how select variable works in the wpdb method and yeah this is the video if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys